Hey guys! With the holidays coming up, I wanted to share with you a simple and easy side dish that I like to make for the holidays, and it's something that you can prepare a couple of different ways. I'm going to show you the way that I'm preparing it um, when I have some friends and family over. If you're going to have a larger crowd and more company, you're going to want to do it in a larger Pyrex dish. But today I'm going to show you how to kind of do a portion control and do it for your um, each of your guests. So I just want to share it with you. It's so delicious. I love it. I make this every year for the holidays. So I want to share it with you guys. The first thing you're going to want to do is prepare your sweet potato. So bake your sweet potato um, and get that ready. So I went ahead and I already cooked up my baked potato and I just um, scooped out the inside. I used two sweet potatoes. So you're going to um, prepare your sweet potato and then you're going to cut it in half, scoop it out like you would normally. Um, if you're preparing like sweet potatoes for your um, holiday dinner. So I went ahead and it's just plain sweet potato. We're using two. I do have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. It's set to. So all you're going to do is make sure you have a large enough bowl. So I have this bowl with my two sweet potatoes in it. And I'm going to add a quarter cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour that inside. And then the next thing I'm going to add is two tablespoons of egg whites. And if you don't want to use egg whites, you can use one whole egg, um, but I'm just going to use the two tablespoons of egg whites. I'm also going to use two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. So that is going to be our sweetener. So I'm going to go ahead and just put the two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. And then the next thing I'm going to add is one teaspoon of vanilla. So we're just going to add our vanilla. I love having sweet potatoes as a side dish. I just... I love making them. We have them every single year for the holidays, uh, for Christmas and for Thanksgiving. So this is a dish that I always like to prepare and bring. It's just, it smells delicious. It's something that I look forward to. I normally just make for my lunches and stuff, just a plain sweet potato. So it's such a treat to have at the holidays is kind of like spruce it up just a little bit and have like that just special treat for the holidays. So that's kind of what we're doing here today. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix that up. The next thing I'm going to add in this bowl, I have one teaspoon of cinnamon. I have a half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. If you don't have pumpkin pie spice or you don't want to use pumpkin pie for the sweet potatoes, you can use a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and then I just used a pinch of sea salt. So those are our spices that we're going to add. So we're just going to go ahead and mix this together. Oh, it smells so delicious. I love 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 the smell and the scent and I love sweet potatoes anyway even if they're just like plain and you know just cook your baked potato or your um, sweet potato I love them but this is like just that extra like treat that I look forward to every single year so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all up and then I'm gonna set it aside and we're gonna start on our um, crumble topping so um, we're gonna do the little crumble topping on top of this and I'm going to set this aside so it's still pretty warm and that's fine. And then we'll go ahead and get started on the crumble topping for our sweet potato souffles. All mixed up, we're going to set that aside. The next thing you need is just a small to medium sized bowl. And we're going to mix our crumble topping in this bowl. And then we're going to go ahead and assemble our little dishes here. So the first thing I'm going to add is a half a cup of a crunchy cereal. Whatever you want to use as your cereal. I'm using just a high-low uh, cereal. I buy this off of Vitacost. So I just went ahead and um, crumbled it up and made it really small and crunchy. You can use whatever cereal you'd like that is crunchy. So I'm using half a cup of the cereal. The next thing I'm going to use is one tablespoon of coconut flour. So we're just going to put that inside. And then I'm using one and a half tablespoons of dry oats. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. And then I'm using a mixture of pecans and walnuts. And I'm using um, a tablespoon Actually, it's about two tablespoons, and I just went ahead and finely chopped these up um, with a little chopper that I have. So two tablespoons, and I'm using a mixture of pecans and walnuts. You can use whatever nuts that you guys like. If you want to do almonds and pecans, if you want to do just walnuts, um, whatever nut that you choose, just go ahead and finely chop it, and then we're going to go ahead and add it to our mixture. I'm adding one teaspoon of brown sugar, and then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of pure raw honey. So we're just going to add that and then we're going to mix everything together and I am going to add just a dash of sea salt. So we're just going to go ahead and combine everything and make sure all the cereal and the coconut flour, everything is all mixed together. 
So this next part, you get to choose how you're going to assemble it. So you can use individual little dishes if you would like. Um, if you have a large group coming over, you can do this in a large Pyrex dish and just make it like a casserole dish and everyone can kind of scoop out their own portion. But if you have enough, um, and I found these little um, Pyrex dishes at Walmart a few years ago and I don't even remember how they came. They might have come in a four pack, a two pack, I don't recall. But um, you can get these at like the Pyrex stores. I know there's a lot of like outlets or Walmart, Target, um, really anywhere as long as they're um, oven safe. So you'll just want to find some glass containers or um, if you guys have something at home that you'd like to use. But just uh, for portion control or for like individuals so they can have it with their dishes. Um, I'm going to use these today to show you guys how I do them. When I have a large group coming, then I will do it in a larger casserole. Just it's easier that way. Sometimes when you have a, a big group, instead of having like millions of these out on the table or, you know, all over like a buffet style or, you know, whatever, sometimes it's just too many. So I am going to use these today. You are going to want to spray these. I'm spraying them with the um, Trader Joe's coconut oil spray. So you just want to lightly spray the pans and then we're going to go ahead and assemble everything next. Okay, so I have them all sprayed and what we're going to do is just take our mixture and you're going to just plop that down inside. So I'm going to take probably like two and a half spoons and then I'm just going to kind of like spread that out in the dish like so. And then what you're going to do is just take some of the crumble topping and we're just going to put that on top. So you're just going to sprinkle that all over that um, sweet potato mixture and so that's exactly how it's going to be. So I'm going to set these aside and I'm going to keep filling them up as I go. Okay, so I went ahead and I filled my casserole dishes. I got five out of my two sweet potatoes and it all kind of depends on how much you fill each one. But um, if you're going to have more guests or you're going to do a casserole, go ahead and add or do more sweet potatoes. That way you can have um, more. And obviously you'll want to add more ingredients or double the recipe or triple the recipe or however many you're having um, for company or guests over. You will have some extra topping um, that the uh, measurements that I gave you, you'll have some extra topping and it also depends on how heavy handed you are with your um, toppings. So I filled them all, they're uh, lightly coated and then the next thing I would add is the mini marshmallows. You can make your own marshmallows if you want, if you don't want to do store bought marshmallows. If you're okay using store bought marshmallows, you're going to want to go ahead and top them like you would like sweet potatoes or like a um, yam casserole. So I'm going to go ahead and top them. My nieces and nephews love marshmallows so usually for theirs I'll give them more marshmallows because they like that topping as it melts down in the oven so I'm gonna go ahead usually I put like five marshmallows in each one but you could do more or less it just depends on um, what you want so like I said you can either make your own marshmallows or you can use store-bought marshmallows completely up to you and um, if you're gonna do a casserole style if you're gonna do um, a casserole dish you're gonna obviously want to add more marshmallows than just five so you'll want to like, you know, completely cover the whole topping of it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the marshmallows on and then I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven. It's um, set to 350 degrees and I'm going to bake these for about 15, 20 minutes. And I bake them in the oven for 20 minutes. So they're all done and these are something that you can make ahead of time. So typically I will do them about two to three days ahead of time and I'll prep them. I'll put everything on except for the marshmallows and put a piece of tin foil and keep them in the refrigerator. So the day of the holiday, I will go ahead and put them in the oven and bake them then. So this is something that you can prep ahead of time just so the day of you're not like running all over the place trying to get everything together if you do make everything. Um, this year I am preparing everything myself and I did last year so it was pretty easy because I prepped everything like a few days before. So the day of Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever holiday you're celebrating, it's nice to have everything ready and then that day you just have to throw it in the oven. So it took a lot of stress off of me. So the same thing this year, I will go ahead and prep everything ahead of time, just like two to three days. And then the day of, I'll just go ahead and throw it in the oven. So it's nice, you can kind of mingle and enjoy your company and you're not stressing about preparing everything all at one time or that morning trying to get everything together and ready. So this is something that you can do ahead of time and then the day of, just go ahead and bake it. So if you're going to have a lot of company, you can do it, like I said, in a big um, Pyrex dish and just make it as one. 
or you can go ahead and do them individually. So I usually do this um, a few times just so I have a bunch of my casserole dishes um, ready to go for each individual person. So I kind of like it just because it's portion controlled and it's nice. It's just that extra little touch in front of the plate that they have separate. Um, I'm one of those weird people that I don't like my food to touch, so it's nice to have this aside. So um, I, I've always been that way, even as a kid. I don't know why I hate my food to touch. So I like having things like this. Obviously for the holidays, there's like a big plethora on the plate, so sometimes it's hard to avoid my food touching. But it's something that I like as a side dish and it's not touching. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give these a try and I hope you guys like it. I will see you guys soon. Bye.